All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. This Wednesday, Wanderlust Wednesday here in the cave. We had seven in a row last week, uh, which we broke up yesterday, but we're doing our best here still to try to turn out those new episodes. So uh, let's get to it. Today, we're talking about the band Masters of Reality. Anyone remember this band? Uh, but uh, these guys, uh, this is decent. This is a decent story. Uh, formed in 1981 in Syracuse, New York, lead singer Chris Goss and guitarist Tim Harrington, uh, named after Black Sabbath's third album, Master of Reality. Um, and uh, they came from, you know, the usual, the usual suspects. Chris Goss had, was doing a cover band, singing Led Zeppelin and Alice Cooper and David Bowie. Uh, then he got into punk music and uh, actually ended up playing at CBGB and then uh, they got start experimenting with more lo-fi kind of alternative metal stuff, like early what what you would think early Marilyn Manson sounded like. Um, but the demo, they get a demo, and it gets to none other than Rick Rubin's desk uh, over at Def Jam, and um, he he likes them, so he signs them, and then he ends up bringing them over t- to his new label, uh, American Def American, uh, and put out their debut record in 1989, which. Um, you know, it was kind of floundering about, touring on that. He wasn't really, Chris was not happy with that. So he ended up buying the, the rights to that off of Rick Rubin. Wooed away to California, as so many are. Moves out west. Signed to another label. Um, Delicious Vinyl is the name of the label. And uh, they re-released their debut with a new track and a new order. Um, and they were just trying to make ends meet, figure things out. But then 1992 is where we land here at song of the day that's when i first heard them we got the demo of this second album um at the record store and the next thing i know they're playing one of the tracks on the radio we're talking about the record uh sunrise on the suffer bus from 1992 now they shuffled their lineup and uh they you know chris goss's voice was compared to the likes of cream uh the band cream jack bruce uh, and neil young and coincidentally uh they added drummer (laughs) they added a drummer just a little drummer for this record uh and that drummer of course comes from cream ginger baker amazing that he plays drums on this especially uh this particular record he just really does an amazing job conjuring up drumming of old um but boy that's just a score for them wasn't it uh on a side note because that's what we do here in the cave um there was a side project in 1993 called BBM. BBM? Uh, Bruce Baker Moore. Supergroup. Jack Bruce from Cream, singer, bass player. Gary Moore, a legendary guitarist. And Ginger Baker on drums. And they put out a record. Uh, and there's an awesome song on there called Waiting in the Wings. On a side note. But anyway, so here they are. They have Ginger Baker on drums. They put out Sunrise on the Suffer bus, and they land a top 10 single in She Got Me when she got her dress on. Uh, and this was a fun record. There's some other great stuff on here. JB, Witch Dance, Rolling Green, TUSA got some uh, some press because it's got some spoken word in there from Ginger Baker about making tea, the right way to make tea. Uh, spoken word was a thing in the early 90s. There was a lot of that. Uh, David Lee Roth put out a song that had that in there. Um... I'm trying to think there was this other anyway that's that was a thing uh but they would put, go on to put out four more albums after that but this is where we are have landed at song of the day with sunrise on the suffer bus and i heard this song the other day and i was like why well, haven't heard, thought of this song in so long this is so good and i've been playing it every morning on my way to work for like 10 days now it's pretty awesome so you're checking out masters of reality she got me when she got her dress on. It's just fun rock and roll. It's just like, it's hard to, I mean, they went through so many different changes, but this one is just like blues rock, uh, but more rock than blues in some ways. Uh, just very interesting, a very interesting voice and a great song. So look, we did it in under six minutes. That doesn't happen very often here in the cave, but that's right. Masters of reality. Sunrise on the suffer bus. She got me when she got her dress on. Check it out today. Play it. Do you remember it? If you don't know it, play it a few times, I think you're going to like it. All right, whatever you're doing today, hope it involves music, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. Uh-huh.